S. A. Barton writes, I'm not even a particular fan of Hillary Clinton. I just really don't like Rick Santorum. It's actually one of the nicest things I've seen on Twitter about me. Steve Kelly changes his opinions like a teenager does Facebook profile pictures. He'll laud you one day and lambaste you the next day. Well, I think this is a time for lambaste. Is this your phone? <laughs> Just a PSA, the hashtag Republicans are ugly is a thing. Republicans are hot. Wendy Lou Hu tweets, Hugh Hewitt, laugh out loud, writes books for people who can't read. I'll bet, Wendy, you're really deep into Machiavelli. Give it a try. The queen will make you a better person. Mike Huckabee, you stand as much chance of being president as my dog does. Wait, probably less, since she's cuter. Look, your dog might be a great vice president, but you're looking at the next president. Tell your dog he has to wait his turn. Ken Buck sucks at Ken Buck sucks. I just don't get the grassroots following this guy has. Ken Buck sucks. Well, that sums it up. Chris Christie trails Donald Trump, but it could be worse. Carly Fiorina trails Donald Trump's hair. Alexis in NH. I'm not sure how I feel about Mary Catherine Ham's Pat Benatar makeup look this evening. Hashtag O'Reilly Factor. Look, when you're on with Bill, love is a battlefield. Uh, Ken Gardner says, being good at neurosurgery doesn't prepare you for politics any more than being good at politics prepares you for neurosurgery. Uh, I find that quite laughable. Uh, you can take a smart person, you can give them a year of neurosurgical training and a year of political training, and I guarantee you they'll do much better at politics than they will at neurosurgery. Anybody who thinks those two things are equivalent uh, needs to have their head examined. Why hasn't God protected us from Willie Gomer? Well, it's because you get what you deserve, and you are Scott Stark. Scott, you deserve me. Congratulations.